Hey everyone, a little bit different AI vibe for you today, but my name is Jordan with Everyday AI, and we're live at the Microsoft Ignite conference in Chicago. Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella just wrapped up his keynote, um, and I want to give you really quickly just five key things that I pulled out from today's session so far, including the keynote, and I already did a full 30 minute breakdown of everything that you need to know about. So a couple of quick things that I wanted to dive into. So Everyone's going to be, talk, be talking about these two things. Number one, autonomous AI agents in Copilot Studio. So these are multi-step autonomous agents, no code. Uh, they are right now out in private to preview. Um, number two is Microsoft 365 Actions. So this is simple. So this is no code to another level. It is drop-down selectors. It's the ability to uh, share different uh, different information with your team to automate different repetitive tasks and you can schedule all of these as well. But here's the three uh, things that I think especially for everyday people, non-technical people, that I think are going to be huge. Uh, so new features in Copilot Pages. So rich artifacts. So actually inside of biz chats, it's the ability to add rich data with all of your Microsoft 365 connected content. So you know how in like ChatGPT or uh, Claude, uh, you can you know talk to the large language model and have it uh, create you some visual content, right? So maybe you need to make a very long spreadsheet, a little more visual, or create a little uh, chart. So you can do all of that uh, right now with this new feature, this rich artifacts, uh, adding these snippets inside Copilot Pages, and that's a collaborative playground. It is live, like you know a Google Docs, but think inside of this chat, being able to talk to co-pilot and then add all of this uh, kind of now rich information visually, I think is uh, gonna really change how teams with Microsoft 365 Copilot access can collaborate with each other and bring more boring documents to life. Two other big things that I don't think are getting enough love or enough shine right now, uh, some new co-pilot agents in Teams. So there's the interpreter agent. So literally you can talk in nine different languages. Yes, in real time. When you're on a Teams meeting, it uses your own voice. I have no clue how Microsoft pulled this out. Uh, that is rolling out here soon, as well as uh, some new capabilities for a facilitator agent. So that's essentially, you know, your assistant that's, you know, taking notes, keeping you up to date, but also it's able to understand what's being shared on the screen at any time. And then last, last but not least, we have uh, SharePoint agents. So that is automatically for any SharePoint site, it is created for you. So if you have a SharePoint site, um, you can update and create an agent by default. So all of your information that you or your team uh, have within a SharePoint site, automatically created by default. You can also create your own and then you can share those SharePoint agents uh, really anywhere within the Microsoft 365 uh, kind of ecosphere. I think this one might be my favorite feature that's being rolled out. So you know how everyone is really loving Notebook LM? Myself included, I think this is uh, kind of Microsoft's approach with SharePoint agents. So it is grounded in your data, which is huge, right? Because when you're working with large language models, you always need to worry about uh, trust and transparency. So uh, with the new SharePoint agents, it only pulls from the data in that individual SharePoint, which is great for large organizations uh, to know instantly that it's only pulling from the data in there. So you don't have to worry as much about hallucinations or you know co-pilot going off the rail so those are a couple key features to keep an eye on i'm going to be here for the rest of the week at uh, the microsoft uh, ignites conference here in chicago so if you're here uh, let me know but we're going to continue to keep you updated so make sure to tune into the podcast uh, read the newsletter and we'll be back for more